I took another trip to Bista Village because there were a few shops that I didn't get to check out last time. So first up, I took a stop into Off-White. And the first time round, I didn't really stop in here because they didn't really seem to have anything that I'd, I'd be interested in. But this time round, they had quite a few really cute menswear pieces, quite a lot of jackets, jeans, trainers, bags, and a few quite interesting accessories. They had quite a few pieces that had, you know, the their statement words across the front of them and quite a few interesting looking bags. If you are on the market for this kind of style, then I definitely think that checking out off, off White is a good shout. They also had quite a few decent trainers. So definitely quite reasonably priced shoes and accessories in Off White. stopping in Dior but you guys can see on the left here that the line was pretty long and it didn't ever seem to go down for the whole day I was there so I made my way over to Gucci and Gucci I think is always a good shout it's always um it's always worth checking out they do have a mix of discounted items and full price items into in Gucci so you do need to be mindful when shopping it's always worth checking the tag all the time to make sure that you are getting the best discount but they do have quite a few marmont styles available they have very seasonal items in there along with more uh more neutral colors that i think that you could wear throughout the year they did also have quite a few accessories quite a few belts scarves in loads of different colors i quite like this top handle mini bag it really reminds me of a chanel one that i've seen which is very very cute then i made my way to ready to wear they have quite a bit of adidas gucci available still with quite large discounts so if you are looking for the adidas gucci collaboration items then they have quite a few available i think they had an additional 30 percent off and then they had a few cute ready to wear pieces So I thought I'd show you guys some of the kids wear that they had. They had quite a few really cute, more classic Gucci styled pieces back here with quite decent discounts. I don't particularly buy luxury items for my kids, but if it is something that you're into, then I definitely think they have quite a few very cute options for boys and girls. <laughs> The shoe options, I would say, are quite specific. <laughs> very seasonal, very particular colours, um, but they do all have very good discounts on them. And so if you are looking for something quite specific, maybe something that is a specific, very bright colour, then I think you'd be able to find um, what you're after here. They do still have these platformed Gucci um sandal heels which i think of all the shoes are probably the best pick if you can walk in them they are very very nice and they come in a few different colors <laughs> then i made my way to fendi the last time i was here they had quite quite a long line so for Fendi and Dior I'd say to get there a bit early if you are looking to visit these two shops then inside they had quite a few really nice I would say staple style Fendi pieces at very good prices the discounts on their shoes is are actually very very good and they do have the the heel with the F the F as the heel available those shoes I think are so pretty and the discount on them here are pretty nice and they have quite classic classic colors blacks whites creams 
so definitely worth checking out i think if you are looking for a fendi pair of shoes they also had quite a few decent trainers in menswear at quite good prices then they had the fendi clutch available and i love this bag it's still on my list of maybes i think this clutch bag is perfect for um evenings and occasions they have quite a few really nice bags i'd say for the bags so the only thing is that the colors are very seasonal i quite like this green color um but you won't really have many options in terms of more neutral colors so you will have to compromise a bit on that but they definitely had quite a few colorways that i would definitely consider <music> So next I made my way to YSL and I think YSL is a must see if you are visiting Bista Village. They have quite a few tote bags at the back, right at the back, which are very, very nice. They are very spring summer at a pretty good discount. So definitely worth checking out. I did actually get asked to not film in this store at, at one point, but before then I was able to get a bit of footage for you guys. I definitely think YSL is a must see at, at Bista. They have quite a few different variations of bags. They have a few Lulu bags. They have quite a few smaller shoulder bags, a few top handle bags, loads of accessories. The last time I was here, I picked up a purse. They have quite a few different colorways. They have more seasonal colors, less seasonal colors. They have blacks, they have browns. They have quite a few burnt oranges, burgundies and their shoe collection is really nice as well they have quite decent discounts on their shoes as well i think if you are looking for a pair of luxury designer shoes then bista village is a really good place to start if you are not held back by your size like i am then definitely worth checking out what they have to offer here at ysl they had such pretty styles available <laughs> So I did try on a Lulu bag and this black envelope style bag that I thought was really, really cute. I'm still considering picking up a YSL Lulu, although I did see a video, I don't know if you guys have seen it, on the construction of the Lulu bag and it's kind of made me question my reasoning, my thinking, but definitely still a consideration for me. Then I made my way over to Coach and Coach I think is also a must-see if you are visit visiting Bista Village. They have so many cute bags available at coach at really reasonable prices with really good discounts on them i think if you are shopping for a loved one if you're shopping for an occasion maybe it's somebody's birthday you definitely be able to pick up something here i love these no these 90s naughty style log bags they have quite a few purses available they do have some full price items as well i was considering picking up the metallic coach wristlet in the tabby in silver they had that there as well and they have a few of their more recent styles available too but the majority of the store is discounted and definitely worth checking out so next i made my way into tory birch and i wouldn't say i'm an avid tory bert shopper however they were a very nice surprise they had quite a few really cute more dressy bags and shoes available they had this really nice silver it's like a muted silver top handle bag that i fell in love with when i went in there um at a really re reasonable price i spoke to the sales associate about it i think it was about 200 pounds with all of the discounts off they have an additional 30 percent off the ticketed price so 
they also had this really nice i'll show you guys in a second this really nice brown very seasonal though definitely given autumn winter but i think that you could style this kind of top handle it almost looks like a speedy bag very 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 nicely i was so considering this bag um because i think it was so cute next i made my way over to max mara and max mara is good if you are looking for more everyday wear if you're looking for trousers blouses shirts blazers jackets they do have quite a few seasonal bags so they've got quite a few raffia style summer spring summer style bags but i think their their strong suit are all of the jackets all of the suiting that they have tons of i think if you have plans to visit visit max mara then it is a good idea to leave yourself with a bit of time they have quite a big shop and quite a wide variation of items available there i did come across this denim jacket that i was considering picking up as well the discounts are pretty good in max mara and they do have quite a few nice accessories too they have a section for sunglasses and they had quite a few slides and scarves available as well if you are looking for something to add to your spring summer wardrobe So next I made my way over to Prada and Prada is also I think a must see at Bista. If you go in and make your way all the way to the back, they do have an additional 30% off some of their ready to wear at the back. This shop also has Moo Moo inside of it. Moo Moo also has quite a few nice accessories and ready to wear as well available. This Prada had quite a few nylon bags available. You know the very classic uh, shoulder nylon bag they had a few of those with an additional 30% off available I would say more seasonal maybe less less popular colors but the discounts were still very good I really enjoyed this Prada bralette. I don't know if, if it's wide enough to be called like a crop, but this bralette with a Prada symbol on the front, I thought was really, really cute. And for all the items that had the red sticker on, there was an additional 30% off. So I think their discounts are pretty good. They also have a very wide range of shoes available. And I think if you are looking for any kind of shoe, a, a more formal shoe, an occasion wear shoe, an everyday shoe, a, a holiday shoe, vacation shoe, any kind of shoe that you are looking for, I think you'll be able to find that Prada at a very, very good price. They have so many really, really cute styles, mules, court shoes, platform shoes, trainers available that I think are worth... I quite liked this puffy style bag i wasn't sure about the color but they do also have loads of more puffy styles available that kind of give lulu vibes all very very cute and all with quite reasonable discounts still expensive especially these with the gold chains still expensive but very reasonable discounts they also had this display that had an additional 30 percent off so all the gloves and some of these more tote nylon bags had an additional percentage off oh. 
Next, I made my way to Versace and Versace was a very nice surprise for me. I really enjoyed um, Versace. It was quite busy, but they had quite a few very staple Versace pieces in there at quite reasonable discounts. They had quite a bit of ready to wear and accessories as well. So if you are looking for maybe swimsuit tops, maybe jeans, they have loads of those available. And then in the shoe section, they have like, you know, the platformed, the platformed Ariana Grande Bratz doll style shoe. They have quite a few of those available. And so I definitely think if you are looking for that kind of shoe still, I did do a review and unboxing of these shoes on my channel. I tried the bigger size on, it was a fail, didn't work for me. But if you are looking for this style of shoe still, they do have quite a few different colors available. Even the very popular pink they have, they have in this store. So they have quite a few very Versace, very staple pieces available at this store. And I definitely think they're worth, they're worth checking out. I also thought these boots were quite cute. Versace is quite nostalgic for me. I, it kind of gives J-Lo, I know we've canceled J-Lo now. I know, I know we don't like her anymore, but all of these pieces were kind of giving 90s, noughties, you know, Jenny on the block vibes for me, which I, I love for them. I, I think it is very much Versace. So I quite liked shopping in there. So next I checked out Acne Studios. And for me, Acne Studios is very much becoming a front runner for their out outerwear. I definitely have a puffer on my list to pick up from them. They seem to do out outerwear so, so well. That and jeans and trousers, they seem to do very, very well. So I think if you are looking for more everyday pieces, jumpers, jackets, trousers, cardigans, skirts, that Acne Studios is a good place to check out. Their shop is quite small and they are towards the back of the village, or well, depending on where you come in, but towards the back of the village um, on your left-hand side. But I think that they have quite a few really, really useful pieces that you'd get your, you, you know, you'd get your money's worth out of at very good discounts. So I made a small pit stop into Balenciaga. They have these small shop, these small shoppers that I like, but Balenciaga's on the naughty step for me at the moment. So definitely not a consideration for me at the moment, but they do have very brand stapley bags in Balenciaga. The shop is small, but I think it's worth checking out if you are looking for a Balenciaga piece. <laughs> Now, Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta, I'm in love. When I walked in there, I, 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 heard, I, heard, I heard music start playing in my head. It was such a nice experience shopping in there. They do have very seasonal pieces in there, but also very classic Bottega Veneta pieces in there. They have loads of shoes, loads of jackets. They have the cassette bag. I think I saw a Jody in there. They have the boots, the 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 very popular boots that I were that I was considering picking up, and these very popular sandal styles available with really, really, I think, really, really good discounts on them. Next, I made a stop into Kate Spade. Kate Spade was okay for me. The discounts in there were very, very good. I think they were doing some kind of promotion where you'd get an additional 20% off your second bag. So it was very busy in there. I think for me, Kate Spade is not necessarily 
my vibe it kind of gives junior junior for me if i had maybe like a teenage daughter or something then i think i'd be more inclined to shop at kate spade but they do have very good discounts and they have loads of different styles available then i'm i just walked past Givenchy because i did go in there last time but they do have a pair of green shark lock boots in the window which i thought were quite interesting they do have shark lock boots available at Givenchy if you are looking to pick a pair up you can check out my last video on Bista Village if you wanted to see some of the other styles they had available. Then I made a quick stop into Marnie. Marnie was cute. It's very small in there, but they do have quite a few cute pieces. They have Marnie slides and they had a little raffia bag that was pretty cute as well. So I think it's worth worth checking out. They don't, don't have tons in there, but they do have a, cute, a few cute pieces. next i made a stop in loewe loewe is also very small but if you are looking for a loewe piece i think it's definitely worth checking out they do have quite a few spring summer pieces they have this very popular loewe dress top thing definitely would be a top on me <laughs> but dress available as well at like half price so definitely i think worth checking out what they have to offer it although very small it was very busy they do have accessories they have a few belts they do have sunglasses as well in there so i think it's worth visiting <laughs> 